I was so stunned because I have very dramatic memories of where I was when the Beatles were on Ed Sullivan, when I heard that JFK had been shot, and this I'll, I'll never get this memory out of my head, just where I was, just getting a phone call from a reporter. And they just said, have you heard the news? And I instantly knew what that meant. And that uh, was just a total shock. Like, what do you say? It's like the world lost a John Lennon. I mean, Steve was clearly the most outstanding business thinker, and uh, almost everybody who's high up in the technology business recognized that, that somehow he had the ability to think out new ways of doing things, not just ways to improve what we have, do a better version of something, but do it in a totally different way that the world would swing towards. And then I think back to just all the times we had together, very, very good times that you have when you're young, you know, and playing around with the systems and uh, little misbehavior and doing interesting things. And, and then he was always thinking about certain technology, the early products that got developed, the building parts, what those might lead to in our future. And he was always pushing me as an engineer, could you possibly add this someday? Could you possibly add that someday? Yes, 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 I could, thinking, no, it's way, way off. But eventually we all did. We went into the garage when we were two young people with no money. You have to work out of your home. We had jobs on the side. We had nobody that could loan us money. We had no business experience. We're like a million young people who are so excited about the future they might have someday in business, making something just out of their ideas. That's what we were. Yeah, and, and over and over and over, all the products of Apple from you know iPhones and iPads, iPods, um, these were just unbelievable life changers. And... Uh, Almost everyone who heads a technology company looks at Steve Jobs as, where did he get the ideas to do it the right way? We were just the lucky partnership. He was lucky to have me in the beginning, but I am much, you know, incredibly lucky to him for everything in my life. He gets a reputation for being a strong leader and being brash, but to me, he was just always so kind, such a good friend, and um, I'm just going to miss him. All right, Steve Wozniak, co-founder Apple. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, hey, I really appreciate you talking to us. I know.